and often without any thanks at all. Because you do not hear nearly enough. I want you to know that patriotic Americans of all backgrounds truly support and love our police. And a very sad thing is that many of today's politicians don't want to say that, don't want to talk about that, because it's not politically correct, or they think it might hurt them with the voters. I will say it, and I will talk about it proudly. I will make it the personal priority of my administration to ensure that our police are finally treated fairly, with honor and respect that they deserve. To all Americans watching this event today, next time you see a cop on the beat, take a moment to say two wonderful words, which they so readily deserve. Thank you. Thank you. As you all know much too well, we are living through an era in which our police have been subject to unfair defamation and vilification. And even, really, I mean, you see what's going on. You see what's going on. Even worse, hostility and violence. More officers were slain last year in ambushes than in any year in more than two decades, including — and that's so incredible to even have to be speaking about this — the beloved officers killed in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in yet another murderous attack of law enforcement. And we have some of those incredible families and survivors with us. Thank you.